Here are five reasons to use smart objects in Photoshop. First, if you place your RAW files as embedded smart objects, then the entire RAW file is embedded into your document. Double clicking on the thumbnail for the smart object will enable you to edit the contents of the smart object in Camera Raw. When you're finished, Photoshop will re-render the RAW file, giving you the highest quality image possible. Second, you can apply as many distortions or transformations as you want to the layer without decreasing the quality of the image. Here, I'll use Transform to scale this layer down and apply that transformation. Later, if I change my mind and use Transform again in order to scale it up, the smart object doesn't throw away the original information, so I don't lose any quality. Third, I can convert several layers into a single smart object and transform them all at one time. I can reposition them and even add a little bit of a warp to these in order to make it look a little bit more realistic. If I need to make changes to the individual layers, I just edit the contents of the smart object by double clicking on the thumbnail. Fourth, when I'm working with templates, I can hold down the Option or the Alt key and make duplicates of an embedded smart object. Then I could add edge effects or other special effects, and if I need to make a change to the image, double clicking on the thumbnail will bring up Camera Raw, where I can then make my edit, and when I'm finished, not only does Photoshop update the original smart object, it also updates all of the instances. And the fifth and final reason, it's really easy to replace the contents of a smart object. I'll navigate to select another image, make any desired changes, and because these two images are exactly the same size, Photoshop updates and replaces all of the instances perfectly.